<clears throat> so I'm sure you heard by now, but um, if you haven't, last week there was a shooting at a school in South Florida. And for those that don't know, that's where I'm from. And it was at a school that uh, is very close to where I grew up. And it's actually a school that my cousin attends. And she was actually involved in this horrific event, but she was luckily one of the ones that was unharmed. But some of her friends were killed, and it's just a tragedy. And I just wanted to do the least that I could do, which was bring awareness to this problem. Um, I don't even really know how to address it, but uh, what I do think is probably part of the reason that these things happen is mental illnesses and depression and things like that. And I just want to try to bring awareness to this for the people who aren't having those struggles to try to help those who are and just to be more um, aware, I guess is the word, but just to be more aware of other people that are having struggles in their life and just to be more open to them and understand that their actions may not be directed towards you. Not, I'm not talking about the actual shooting, I'm just talking about in everyday life when people have, are having struggles and they're depressed or, and they act um, mean or very negative and things like that. I know it feels like you don't want to be around that person, but there's probably underlying reasons for that. Or if they're acting in, um, a, have a bad mood all the time, things like that. There's just try to be more open to understanding what their problem is or reach out and try to help them um, to fix the root of their problem. Or if you're depressed yourself, um, cause I've had down times myself, um, throughout my life, not nearly to that extent, but I, tr it's very helpful to try to find the root of the problem and not just try to mask it or dull the symptoms of what's ever causing your pain, things like that. It's very, even though you don't want to if it's something you don't like about yourself or something you don't like about your life or feelings you have or just situations you in, you're in, you can take small steps to improve it. And if you don't know how, then there's people out there that can try to help you or reach, you can reach out to. And that's what also I want to do is try to tell people that sometimes all people need is a tiny little boost of confidence, of just encouragement to get them started and it can go a long way for people that are really struggling and feel like there is no hope or there is nothing positive in their life a small just appreciation for that person could go a long way and i guess that's pretty much all i wanted to say on this um but i just couldn't really not speak my mind and bring it to your attention that I definitely think that it's something that we can all contribute into helping with. And um, I obviously wish it wasn't as bad as it was, but just, I don't even know why this happened, but it just, I've heard of different things, other instances and other shootings, there was depression or as a lot of times it's mental illness or loneliness that leads to these type of things. And I'm sure some kind of form of that uh, manifested itself into this person to lead him to do these acts. So I just want to hope to prevent more of these tragedies from happening in the future. And I think it starts with the people just coming together and everybody loving one another and at least showing care and understanding that some people have problems that they can't control or that they were born with or anything like that, but that you can do a lot more and uh, try not to, if you are not struggling or even if you're struggling less than someone, there's someone struggling more than you, the, the littlest thing can do a lot. And I just want to try to um, push that message to just help people help others so that way we can all work together to not harm one another and to stop these things from happening because it's just too much. Um, all right, well, thank you for listening. I appreciate it, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon.